Alright guys, welcome back to the Dragon Ball Z Dokobana video. Um, like I said, today we're just gonna hop into it and talk about the LR Extra UI Goku Easy Alien coming in for the 9th anniversary. This will be pre-anniversary, so the countdown. So, um, it's a big, this is huge, man. Like, this is an amazing way just to kick off the, um, anniversary celebration in general. Like, um, th this guy is still semi-viable now. I just deep in this liking, but like, this is still great. Um, but yeah, this dude has immense potential, immense. Like, this could be an amazing, amazing, um, big time for Dokkan. So, uh, yeah, so we're, we're just gonna go through that. Um, of course, no news information came out. I already covered that in the battle, but just, you just know that stuff's coming. The Carnival, Gogeta, Dokkan exclusive, Full Power Broly. Easy is coming for a straight UI and a Cat campaign. The new category, Dragon Super Bosses, and Easy A2 will be announced and released in the near future. So, all these things are awesome, they're huge. Um, but the biggest thing, like I said, LR, STR UI, Goku, Easy A before the celebration kicks off. So, um, since it is on the countdown time frame, we're looking at, so the 28th from, so a week from today is, um, is when the reveal, the second, um, like fan meeting reveal happens. And that'll like kick off and show like the true, this will be the true live stream. And, um, you know, we'll get to see like the animations and stuff, the super drag animations, the transformations, all that stuff. We'll get to see all that here, the details of Anor and stuff like that. So this will be like the true one. So I'm expecting before this, Anywhere from like the 25th, the 26th, maybe we'll get um maybe a data download and information. So maybe like the 24th we'll get information for UI, and then one of these days he'll drop for uh, JP Dokkan. But something within this time frame right here is when he'll most likely reveal and come out. But um, so yeah, we're, we're just gonna hop in and kind of talk about what I expect to see from um this card. So as you know right now, he's a Roma Gods four key one thirty and a uh, Super STR four key, uh one hundred. Like it's seventy seven percent attack and defense start a turn. He's great chance of enemy attack, including super attack for seven turns from start of character's entry, and a high chance of evading enemy attacks, including super attack target for eight turns start of battle. He gets a key and up to 7, an additional 11% attack and defense up to 77% with each attack evaded, including super attack. His um, 12 key disables enemy guard and causes colossal, this is useless. And his 18 key, same thing, colossal, but make colossal instead. Uh, he's got common and high, which is good, prepare for battle and over in a flash. So he got prepare for battle and fierce battle. This is kind of useless, but these two are like key. These are very, very useful abilities right here. Yeah, common and high. Prepare for battle, godly power, over a flash, terminal power, fierce battle, and legendary power, and then all of these teams. And a big thing to remember, he has no restrictions based on his category. So he's not limited to terminal up TOP, Universe Rival Saga, Raps of Universe 7, or anything like that. You can throw him on Universe, you can throw him on Saiyan, you can throw him on Goku Family, Kamameha, uh, Bottom Parent Child, Turtle School, Superheroes, um, Earthbred Fighters, Powerful Comeback, Bottom Friendship, Miraculous Awakening, like these are. The, especially Bond of Friendship. Bond of Friendship and Accelerate Battle are like, I think, the two biggest that are popping in my head right now, like where he's really useful, maybe in the Turtle School. But like, these are gonna be like the biggest buffs, I think, right here. Even like Third Bread will be helpful with like, um, Tech, uh, 23rd Q. Be yeah, like Bond of Friendship and Accelerate Battle like suck right now. So having these guys pop in, like, these stats are good, man. These stats are good. So. This could be a pretty interesting, like, this will probably pop up to uh, 4 key 150, and then Super STR 4 key 120, something like that, 130 maybe. And then this, start and turn, this has to at least be 120%, probably 150%, honestly. Um, this will most likely stay great, but then the restriction will just go away for 7 turns, most likely. So this will either stay a great chance of hitting attack, including super attack, and then go either go up to 10 turns, or just, like, the 7 turn thing will just leave. And then, um, the high chance will then, um, probably stay the same, honestly. Yeah, high chance, super tech, but this will be most likely post. So I'm imagining if this, the turn restriction stays, it'll be like 10 turns here, and this is from 10 turns onward, so like turn 11 or 12 onward, uh, it'll be high chance. And then, so this is where I see the biggest change, I think. Um... The key is obviously useful, so per dodge, uh, since he has the dodge chance, it's, it's gonna happen a lot, so he'll build up pretty quickly and have the key. Um, I could see this either staying the same or going up to 10 maybe, so 10 key up here. So um, 10 dodges, 
And then your additional. So this, I think I could see this realistically going up to 20% right here. And then this hopping all the way up to like 100 and 120% stats. So realistically, it would be like five to six um, dodges to make it just slightly easier to get the more, more stats quicker. Something like that most likely occurring to get um, the most out of the kit. So like 20% here up to 100 120%. So five to six um, dodges will get you all the... And uh, this honestly could just go to two, I guess, per... So just shorten that down to three or four attacks, which would be better too as well. Uh, and then, of course, I would see some kind of additional mechanic, like additional super attack in here somewhere, guaranteed. Um, maybe even guard, because like, what if he gets hit, you know? Just still, it's like, great chance here, 70% chance to end to 50% here. But if he gets, like, like guard or damage reduction here, so like, if he, for say this right here, okay? So he gets, like, the Whis effect. Every dodge he gets, he gets 50% defense, but instead he gets, like, 20% damage reduction for every dodge he does, or 10% damage reduction for every dodge he does. So, it'll be, like, supplemental here, so right here, it'll be, like, for the one turn right here, or maybe even just, he gets it, but, like, for the turn... So you have this, which is built up, and then right here, it'll be like t plus 10% damage reduction per dodge received in that turn. So then at that point, it's like, okay, he gets hit, but then he has like, it's like, it's, it's infinite. So as long as he dodges, he'll get it up to that whatever set amount, like 50% to 100%. Like there's no limit, there's no cap. So from that point on, he'd be good. You know, he gets like three, four, five super uh, additional only dodges, and it's like, okay. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, almost 100% damage reduction, there you go, boom. So something like that would be a very good mechanic for this guy to make him viable in this new mechanic where, like, the meta where, like, units hit really hard, they hit hard, they, they, they'll kill you. I, I can see something like that really working for an, uh, a card like this. This could be very, very useful, like I said, because he can fit on all of these teams, it doesn't matter, he's not, like, set on one of these two teams here. Which I think is the biggest thing, honestly. Also, the, another change that needs to happen. This, he needs defense on these uh, super attack effects right here. Um, whether he stacks or not doesn't really matter. If he stacks, that would be like phenomenal. But I could realistically see this go up to like raise the attack and defense for one turn, keep Sable's enemy guard, and then colossal damage to enemy. And then of course this go up to like same thing, maybe even greatly raise, greatly raise defense heck defense for one turn. Uh the civil enemy's guard and causes my colossal damage to enemy. Um we can see something like that. And then maybe even because it's like like HLUI, give him a similar effect where he gets the medium chance to crit for one turn per super attack done. So if he gets like the guaranteed additional on here somewhere, he'll have two of those, he'll have guaranteed crits of a second super attack. So I I think if they did something like that, this guy would be very, very viable. He, he would be good. He would be very useful. It would be fun to run him. And he would be brought back into relevance of the meta. Like, just imagine, like, remember when this dude came out, man? Like, he... He was special. Like, remember that was a global first? Like, this was... This was a time to live, man, like, in time of Dokkan, like, this was, like, the peak of Dokkan at one point in time. So if he can get back his throne, and, like, the, like even before, like, the anniversary, and so, like, he'll have a little bit of shine. But, like, this will really, really help out, um, a lot of teams, man, like, they just need to, like, do him good. And make sure, like, they kick all the celebration with a bang, with making this guy, like, amazing, like, phenomenal. Um, but yeah, I, I just... That's my my um my two cents, my thought on it. But uh, I, I can see this guy being good, and I really hope they do him justice and make him like worthwhile. Like I said, if they do what I said, just give him those additional buffs here, the stats, the damage reduction per dodge, the attack and defense on super attacks, the additional super in here, and um, I could see him being useful, man. Just raise the stats in these two po areas here, and just give him a little bit more, and give him some start and turn like on super attack buffs, and um. He's cooking with gas, man. Like he'll he'll be he'll be grilling these bosses, like especially like huge Zamasu, dude. He will cook him. You'll be dead with him. How much Zamasu attacks, and then he's guaranteed um, type advantage in the second phase. It, it'll be over. But um, yeah, this is what I think. Uh, like I say, there's a lot of information here. I think I covered everything now. But uh, yeah, there's there's a lot coming. So I got more news, new reveals, and uh, as always, hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Take care, and as always, bye guys.